Here is an example of something I made with an oil pastel. And I did this. This is something that you are all gonna remember from when you were a kid. I bet you anything you remember doing something like this with crayons. So I'm gonna just move these on up and bring the oil pastels down. So what you do is, I'm gonna just do part of this rose. This is S201. This is an Andrea Mattis Domingue stencil. It's just a beautiful stencil. And it's a very, very lovely rose. So let's say we want that rose to be red. And we'll add some pink in here on it. These are oil pastels. And then we'll put a, throw a little orange in here for some little highlights. And then I'm gonna throw some greens down here for those leaves. And I don't know where anything's gonna show up, but fingers crossed here. All right, so you got this down. Now I'm gonna take black and I am gonna put it all over top of this. And just like these I told you were Seniliers from France, these are crepa. These are very inexpensive oil pastels. So if you're looking to try out the oil pastels, try a brand like this before you go whole hog, okay? Because it's a lot less expensive. All right, so you color over top the whole thing with black. Black, 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 black. All right, and then you put the rose over it. This might be something you could do with if you had grandkids over or something like that and um, you wanted to come up with a project to do with them. Then it's a scraping. So I'm just using this uh, needlepoint awl and I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna scrape. And I'm not gonna do this whole thing because it would take me forever and you would be bored to tears. But see how you can scrape through that black and those underneath colors pop right up? And the stencil's really just kind of hanging out here. I want to see how this green, if I got the green in the right place or not. Does anybody remember doing this when you were a kid with crayons? I mean, I totally, totally remember it. Totally. All right, so when you bring it up, then this is not a great example, but you can see how you scrape away and that's exactly what happens. Now, another thing, I got to thinking, since I was using my finger on this, I got to thinking, I wonder if I could get this to move in here. This is the mad scientist after all. here guys hmm right here live yeah that crayon smell no kidding right oh you can actually do that if you have a stencil with big enough holes you could put some of the oil pastel pigment in there and smush it around with your finger okay so that's gonna work. This is um, Bristol paper. And Elizabeth. You know how people are doing things now where they're cutting out all these parts? I was thinking you could cut out some little parts. You could do all sorts of things with that, with the oil pastel. 